And this is what he had to say. Most of your wealth, by the time you're ready to leave, it has been spooned into federal, state, city, and local taxes. Your house, you've paid taxes on year after year. Your car, you paid taxes on when you purchased it. It's insane that death should be free one day and cost you half your estate the next. But that's where we're at. In other words, they're going to charge you 55% on your will. All right. The Christian Science Monitor had this to say, a world in debt, eight reasons you should care. Going to China, China aims to become supercomputer superpower. And a vision of a frightening future for so very, very many people. Now, you know a lot of people are very, very concerned. Did the Bible actually talk about a financial collapse worldwide? God knew it would happen. Did he talk about it, Jack, oh, in the Oh, Rexelli did. In James chapter 5, he says in verse 1, Go to now, you rich men, weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. Why are they miserable? Because verse 4 says they've heaped treasures together for the last days, and now they've lost it all. And they're pictured in Revelation chapter 18, verses 10, 17, and 19. Verse 17 says, For in one hour so great riches has come to nothing. Now, Rexella, right now we are in trouble in America. Uh, we can't uh, pay the people like we should. Uh, the Republicans say, hey, we do want to support the people who have no jobs, but we can't finance it unless we use the stimulus money, President Obama, that you promised the people, and $400 billion of that is still unused. Let's use it. They weren't trying to not give the people what they needed. Not only that, but it said soon retirement wages will be gone. One of our ladies working with us, great soul winner, and that's Willa Durange. Her husband has just turned my age, and he has cancer. Guess what? He needs a PET scan to see how far it's gone. Blue Cross has just notified him, no, we cannot cover you at this age. They said it was coming. It's arrived. And let me tell you about the FDIC. Three months ago, they went broke. They have nothing. And you better watch your money very carefully. Plus, now, if you pass this year, every penny goes to your loved ones. By January 1st, it changes 55 cents out of every dollar. I'll tell you, we are in trouble. We'll no go. wonder they're weeping and wailing in James 5 and Revelation 18, 17. 55 percent will go to the government, yes, right? Yes, 45 percent to your loved ones. Whoa, that really shocks me. How about you? Well, something that Jack has talked about that our president did, and that was that he made an agreement with Russia concerning our atomic arsenals. Here you see it, a treaty for utopia. Be very doubtful about that. A nuclear stand on U.S. and Russia agreed to cut atomic arsenals, but ratification could hinge on anti-missile defense weapons, and which really does worry Moscow. Well, the question on my mind, I'm sure it is on yours, where is this non-proliferation treaty really going? Where is it going, Jack? It's going to be a flop. You can't trust the Russians. What do you think those spies have just been doing in America from Russia? Playing bingo? No, they're getting ready for the war of Ezekiel chapters 38 and 39, where God, Magog, Meshach, Tubal, and Rosh lead in the war of the latter years and the latter days, verses 8 to 16. It's pictured in Joel 2, verse 3, as a fire devours before them, atomic warfare. They're pushed back to Siberia, verse 20, in the prophecies, blood, fire, pillars of smoke, the exact effect of a nuclear blast. Then there's the Shanghai Cooperation Treaty, and Russia and China have promised that they'd help one another. Now, get this. That is... Revelation 16, 12, the kings, plural of the Orient, there'll be many of them along with China coming for the worst war in history, Revelation 9, verses 14 to 18. And I want to tell you, atomic bombs will be used. As Psalm 97, 3, Isaiah 66, 15, Ezekiel 20, 47, Joel 2, verses 3 and 30, already mentioned, Zephaniah 1, 18, Malachi 4, 1, Revelation 8, 7, and Revelation 9, 18. The non proliferation treaty will fail. Recently, our president made a deal with Russia. They said, we will not set up our bases to 
defend Europe if you will agree to help us with Iran. Well, it's all flopped, and at the same time, Russia is making a deal right now with Chavez in Venezuela to set up a base against America, and our Senate and Congress is worried. Mm. Oh, my, oh, my, Jack. I have two questions for you. In God's timetable, where do you think we are? Do you believe that the Lord could come? He said, when you see all these things, I'm coming. My second question, are you ready for that coming? Oh, you can be ready. You can be ready. That's why we're in your home right now. Jack's going to show you how to be ready for the coming of the Lord. Don't you love Jesus who said, come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, burdened. I'll give you rest. I'll give you peace. He made peace through the blood of his cross. Colossians 1, 20. Look at me. Lord Jesus, Prince of Peace, Savior of the world, I need to be comforted now. Oh, Jesus, come into my heart. Save me. Cleanse me. And Lord, prepare me for your return. I accept you as my personal Savior today. Come into my heart, Jesus. I pray this in your holy name. Amen. Amen. If you prayed that prayer, you're ready. If Jesus came right now, you would be ready because he's in your heart. That's that magnet. When the Lord says, come up hither, he's in your heart. It's like a magnet. You'll go to be with him. But you can have peace right now, too, and I know you'll experience it. Now, Write to me. Let me know you prayed that prayer. I said, you absolutely free this little book of first steps in a new direction. I'll have it in the mail. And now, last 10 days, here's our announcer to tell you how you can receive Dictator of the New World Order. Chuck? My friend, to order your copy, Dictator of the New World Order, on DVD or VHS. Have your credit card ready and call toll-free, 24 hours a day, 1-800-JVI-7777. To order by mail in the U.S., send your donation of $24.95 to Jack Hanapy Ministries, Box 704, Troy, Michigan, 48007. In Canada, send your donation of $24.95 to Jack Vanapee Ministries of Canada, Box 1717, Postal Station A, Windsor, Ontario, NINA6Y1. Call today for this shocking and incredible video. Now back to Rex Seller. Oh, friends, do not put it off. There's the 800 number. Make the call right now, please. And I just want to say we've been talking so much about God's timetable, haven't we? God is in control. He is in control. How wonderful to have your faith and trust in Him. I want to leave you with this thought. God's timetable is not altered by the times. How true. And we'll look forward to being in your home again next week. And until then, remember, God cares for you so very much, and so do we, friends.